If there's one secret that separates thriving gardens from average ones, it's not a fancy fertilizer, a new tool, or even a special planting schedule. It's biology. Deep inside the soil, an invisible army of beneficial organisms is working 24-7 to feed plants, protect roots, and transform organic matter into pure growth energy. And the most powerful way to unleash that biology. A simple worm-brewed nutrient cocktail you can make right at home. This living fertilizer, often called worm tea, is one of nature's most potent plant tonics. It's not made in a lab or a factory, it's brewed using worm castings, water, and oxygen. The result is a bubbling, microbe-rich elixir that wakes up your soil and supercharges plant health in a way no chemical fertilizer can match. At first glance, worm tea looks like muddy water, but under a microscope, it's a microscopic jungle, teeming with bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and nematodes, all working in symbiosis with plant roots. These microbes do the heavy lifting. They unlock nutrients already present in your soil, feed plant roots directly, and build natural disease resistance. Instead of dumping synthetic nutrients into your garden, worm tea helps your soil produce its own, on demand, sustainably, and naturally. The key ingredient is worm castings, sometimes called black gold. These are the digested remains of organic material processed through worm systems. In that process, beneficial microbes multiply by the billions, coating each casting in a protective biofilm that stabilizes nutrients. When you brew those castings with oxygen and food, like a touch of molasses, you give those microbes a massive population boost. Within 24 hours, you have an active living fertilizer that plants absorb almost instantly through their roots and leaves. You don't need expensive gear or professional equipment, just a few key ingredients and a bit of patience. Here's how to make a simple, high-quality worm brew. Ingredients. Two cups of worm castings, either from your bin or store-bought. Five liters, which is about 1.3 gallons, of dechlorinated water. One tablespoon of unsulfured molasses or rice wash water for microbe food. An aquarium air pump with tubing and air stones, which is for oxygenation. And of course, a mesh bag or an old stocking to hold the castings. Alright, so first, fill your bucket with dechlorinated water. Chlorine, you know, can actually kill off those helpful microbes, so it's best to let your tap water sit overnight, or just use filtered water if you have it. Next, add some molasses or rice water to the bucket. This acts as food for the microbes. It really helps them multiply quickly. Now, for step three, place the worm castings inside your mesh bag and submerge it in the water. Just think of it like a tea bag, but instead of herbs, you're steeping loads of beneficial life. For step four, make sure you're aerating continuously using your air pump. Oxygen is key here. It keeps your brew aerobic, which prevents any nasty smells and encourages all those good organisms to thrive. For step five, let it brew for about 24 to 36 hours at room temperature. The liquid should turn a dark brown, have an earthy smell, not sour, and bubble gently, which are all signs that it's full of active life. Once it's ready, just strain the liquid and use it straight away. Worm tea doesn't really store well since the microbes are alive and need oxygen. Worm tea is honestly incredibly versatile. You can use it on everything. Vegetables, herbs, flowers, houseplants, even lawns. Here are the best ways to apply it. As a soil drench, just pour it directly at the base of your plants to feed roots and soil microbes. As a foliar spray, you can apply it to leaves early in the morning or late afternoon. The microbes form a protective film that discourages pests and diseases. And as a seed soak, simply soak seeds before planting to boost germination and root vigor. You'll notice greener leaves, stronger stems and faster growth, often within just a few days. Many gardeners report plants becoming more resistant to stress and even recovering from nutrient deficiencies without synthetic fertilizer. 
most commercial fertilizers focus on NPK, that's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But honestly, plants need so much more than just those three elements. They rely on trace minerals, enzymes, and yeah, all sorts of microbial interactions to access nutrients efficiently. Chemical fertilizers often disrupt this balance. Sure, they may deliver a quick burst of growth, but over time they gradually harm soil life and reduce fertility. Worm tea, on the other hand, works with nature, not against it. It actually builds soil structure, increases water retention, and, well, fosters a thriving underground ecosystem. So, think of it as training your soil to grow stronger, not just feeding your plants for the short term, you know? Worm-brewed nutrient tea isn't just a fertilizer, it's part of a philosophy. It honestly reflects a shift away from extraction and toward regeneration, using the smallest creatures on earth to restore balance to the land we grow on. By brewing your own worm tea, you're not only saving money, you're participating in a living cycle of growth and renewal. Kitchen scraps feed worms, worms feed microbes, microbes feed plants, and you know, plants feed you. It's the most natural, efficient, and sustainable system imaginable. One bucket of worm brew at a time. So before you buy your next bag of fertilizer, try this. Grab some castings, fill a bucket, and let nature do the work. You'll never look at your soil, or your garden, the same way again.